In the last video, I got the rear axle beam off the car, took the calipers and rotors off, I removed the hubs and the dust shields. In this video, I'll be removing the old bushings and replacing them with new polyurethane bushings, and I'll also be installing the new hubs and rear dust shields. So let's get to it. The first thing to do to remove the bushing is to get the the rubber portion out. That makes getting the metal inner part easier. And I'm not one to fight it. At least on my old Hondas, burning out the rubber worked. So I'm going to try that. It took about 10 minutes for the rubber to burn away enough so that you can take out what's left of the bushing. There she is. Now I need to remove the two layers of metal sleeve that were the outer portion of the old bushing. I use my reciprocating saw with a metal cutting blade to cut slots in them so they will be easier to free from the bushing housing. I then separated the sleeves from the housing using a combination of chisels and a hammer. First part. Time to charge the battery. All right, let's see if I got enough cutting in before the, the battery gave out. Finally done. Now I'm just going to hit it with a wire brush to make sure there's nothing for the new bushings to bind on. It's actually pretty smooth in there. That's not bad. I'm going to play the same game on the other side. Now it's time to install the new bushings. I start by greasing the mating surfaces and positioning the center part of the kit. I used the bearing service kit that I got at Harbor Freight years ago to press the center in. These sorts of kits pay for themselves after one use. They're easy to find, but I'll put a link in the description. Now that's pretty good in there. I'm going to pull it out and see, I'm going to pull the install kit off and see if it's at a good position. Because if you overshoot, then you got to readjust. So let's go a little farther. A little more, not much more. Should be close. Enters in. Bam. There we go. Supply some grease. And I'll call it good. Alright. Now let's see if this thing even goes in. See if I can get it in easier with just the center. There you go. So 
put that bar in before you put the, the outside and the inner bushings on. It'll be easier. So now we can move on to the hubs and the dust shields. I got some new rear hubs to replace these. And I got some new rear dust shields to replace these. These were in such bad shape, I didn't know what a new one looked like. That's pretty. So we'll knock this out today, and at least that'll clean up the garage a little bit. All right, let's replace that dust shield. At this point, it should be pretty straightforward. Now my ABS sensor is missing. I got a new one on the way. It should arrive today or tomorrow. Easy enough, now for the hub. The torque specification for the Axle nut is 129 foot pounds. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. And the last step put the cap on. All right. When it's all said and done, this work wasn't that difficult. Now I just have to throw away the old parts, clean up a little bit, and get ready to pull the fuel tank to see where that brake line goes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this and want to see more of how I tackle the problems on this golf, hit subscribe. Take care.